Now that the eyes are dry, I can start adding the details to them. I left off sort of here on the second step. I have the white background and I have the colored part of my iris, the brown part. Now for my next step, I'm going to need a little black dot for the pupil. So I'm going to use a detail brush because that's small. And just a little bit of my black paint here, only on the bristles again. And put a little dot right in the middle of my eye here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I sort of want it to be circular. So that's really hard to do with my paintbrush, so I make sure that I'm barely touching my paper. Because the more I touch my paper, the more my bristles spread out. All right, so you've got the little colored part, or not the colored, the pupil. After that, after that step, I've got to add my reflection here. So for my reflection, I'm just going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to pick a side to put it on and I'm going to put a little white dot in the brown part of the eye. So I have a little bit here and I think I'll put mine over here on this side. It's going to make it look like a little reflection. It's already sort of coming to life there. All right. So I've got this first row done here. I've done everything there. Now after that, I'm going to look down here. And what I notice that's different is I have this black line that sort of goes on top of the eye there. So I'm going to take a little bit of, of black and make sure I don't have too, too much of my brush because if I have a lot on my brush, it's going to be very thick. You should be able to see sort of a little point on top of your brush. And I'm going to very, very carefully go on top of this white part here over the eye and down like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, if I want a skinny line, I have to be very, very careful to barely touch my paper because the more I touch it, the thicker those bristles will get. All right, so I finished that step. Now I need to go ahead and add an eyelid. Now, not everyone can see their eyelid um, up here. So if you don't see yours, you don't have to add this part. But for me, I do have a little eyelid there. So I'm going to put another really thin line directly above and it should be really close to where I have the top of my eye. I'm going to do the same thing over here, barely touching my paper so that it's skinny. Okay. Then this step, some people don't really have many eyelashes. You don't have to add eyelashes here if you don't want. For me, I'm going to add a few eyelashes next and I need to make sure that they sort of curve a little bit too because they're not totally straight. And mine aren't too, too long, so I'm only gonna have them kind of short. So they're gonna curve upwards a little bit. And then I might even add a few down here at the bottom that are really short, not too many. Okay, so I've got that step and it looks like I only have one other step and that's to add an eyebrow. Mostly everyone can see their eyebrows. You can do it depending on yours. So I'm going to be using brown, the same color as my hair. And for that, I'm going to leave a little bit of space above and it's just going to be kind of curved a little bit. And it's always just a little bit thinner at the ends than towards the middle of the face. All right, and then I, also want to try to make them a little bit more even if I can. So if they're not very even, then I want to look at both of them and see how I could make them a little bit more even. Okay, so now I've got my face finished here. So now I can go ahead and start with my hair. I have dark brown hair for that because the larger area, I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to use a larger brush because that makes a little bit more sense for me. And then I'm going to dip my paintbrush in there. If you notice, I have this little part right here. So when I start to make my hair come down across my face here, I'm going to leave that part open a little bit. And then I always have my hair sort of tucked behind my ears like this. And then, as I said before, our hair doesn't lay flat against our head. So it actually has to come up a little bit from our head like this. sticks out maybe a little bit. And then my hair is going to come down here, touching my neck, and it's a little bit longer than my shoulders like that. 
going to do the other side too before I begin to color in the inside. Now again, where my part is, I'm not going to show hair there. So I'm going to leave a little thin line there to show where my part is. Back here, it's not quite as important. And it's going to go to my ears here. And then again, it's going to go sort of behind it. This one's going to stop here at my shoulder. It's going to go behind my shoulder there. And now I can just start to fill it in. So I'm going to be very slow and I'm going to hold my paintbrush correctly up and down so that I can make nice smooth lines. And I always like to outline the area that I'm coloring in first and then I can just be a little bit less careful when I'm filling in that inside. All right, I can do the same thing over here go around my ears. I don't want to be able to see anything behind it. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in this area too. So I'm going to make sure that I'm not seeing any of the skin color underneath or any of the sky behind it. Now sometimes with this side, it comes down in front of my ears a little bit, so I might even cover part of my ears on that side. And anytime my brush starts to sort of make fuzzy um, brush strokes, I'm going to go ahead and really reload my brush. So if you look down here, it's a little bit fuzzy. That means that I need more paint on my brush because that's not going to be good for painting. So reloading your brush just means you're adding more paint to it. So I'm going to do this here. And then I've got my hair and my face finished. 